go here, we can go up these stairs. We can probably go down this way too. Awesome. Alright, there's more stairs. Um, what is this way? Right, that's a dead end. So it looks like I'll have to hit another switch maybe, I don't know. We can go up these stairs. There's only literally one way to go, and that's through this door. But Bob is stuck, so I best help him out. Come on, Bob. Stop messing around. Oh, get up here. <laughs> or is it? Yes, there's literally just one way we can go. It's always best to check, though, because often there's hidden treasure chests and secrets and things you just didn't see first time around. So, we'll go up here. This has got to be it. Yes, see that crack in the wall? It's open now. But there's nothing in there. So, okay, that's a bit weird. But anyway, we'll use the whip. And we'll whip across here, unless I've already been there. No, that's not the crack in the wall, is it? This is the crack in the wall. Right. Now I need to go back, don't I? Right. And what I think I'll do, guys, is I think I'll try and use the magic rope. Um, that will allow me to walk back to the beginning of the dungeon and then I can just get here quite easily. Rather than have to climb all the way back. Or clamber all the way back, I should say. Oh, and look. Look what's appeared, guys. You go in this room. There's a blink and you'll miss it moment, we got a gloves orb. That's what I mean about this game, you know. Lots of secrets to find. Right, we'll go through this door. This should take us back to the cave area, yes. Um, which way was it? Was it up here? The door should now be open, not that crack in the wall. That's got to be the one, there we go. So this is the way. Oh, come on Bob, stop messing around. Come on, we gotta go, we gotta move, come on. Get up there, get up there. Right, we hit a switch. Yes, it kind of reminds me of the British Gas logo, that. <laughs> the, little, the little blue flames and stuff. Right, here we go. We've got to be there by now. Another switch. Okay. And here we are, guys. It's just... Eye shade will test you. Yeah, this boss. Uh, I'm going to show you how easy this boss is now, basically. we just got to work out what spell will affect him. So I try, I'll try. i try ice. Ice doesn't work, so we'll try fire. I'm sure it's fire, actually. Basically, every boss is prone to a different type of magic. you just got to try different ones. Sometimes I've guessed, and as you can see... Sometimes my guesses are correct. Fire. He hates fire, this boss. So this guy essentially is an enemy. But he's just there to test you, basically. So it's nothing personal. Once we take him out, I think we'll get his magic. His name is Shade, by the way. And look at that. It's basically no match for Bob. It's great. <laughs> look, at, look at Lucas and Louisa just standing there. It's great. Don't have to do anything. Okay, we give Bob the... well not... It's all Bob basically, <laughs> pull it that way. It's all Bob. Come on Bob, cast the spell. You have to wait for his animation to end before you can kind of cast the spell and start another one. As you can see, the more you attack this blob, the smaller it gets. And the weaker it gets as well, so... It's a really easy boss. There we go. And we'll take that again. Nice. Oh, this is awesome. This is really good. This boss is just like no match, essentially. I'm owning this boss. It kind of reminds me of, um, oh, I'm changing subject, but there's a segment with Stone Cold Steve Austin, uh, was it WWE years ago? or WWF as it was then, and like Patterson and Briscoe are trying to tell Mr. McMahon about how to beat Stone Cold Steve Austin. He says, when you grab his foot, which sets you up for the stunner, you own him, Vince, you own him! <laughs> as if to say they've got him. Just kind of reminded me of that for a while. I do miss old school WWF as it was then. You know, WWE's all right today, it's it's okay. I mean, I, I think it's a much faster paced style and stuff, and I do enjoy the athleticism. 
But I've not watched it in ages, I'll be honest. Um, I've got the network, and I... And that's the thing, I don't even watch Raw or Smackdown. I think I should start, to be honest. I'm just so busy doing different things. And check it out, guys. I'm going off on a tangent. We have received Shade's power, and we have the power of the Mana Seed. How cool is that? So, that's kind of another Underground Palace capped off. So now we can just go back to the beginning, so... We might as well make it easy for ourselves and use the magic rope. And we can get to the top. So now we need to go to the top of the cave and see Sage Jock or see if he's in. I don't think he is though. I think his assistant kind of keeps fobbing us off. So, yeah, it's not good. We'll just select the mana sword. So, yeah, I should have got a Wadger Cash for beating that boss as well. Take that evil bee. Bomb bee. There's another one there. As I said, you can get into a really good rhythm with this game. And once you get into the rhythm of the game, this game really opens up. You do have to do a lot of grinding though to obviously get as powerful as you can, but that's just an RPG anyway. It's like, it's almost essential. I try to keep grinding to a minimum, but you know, there are occasions when it's just impossible for me to edit out because, you know, unless I'm trying to buy armor or something, or if the grind is going to be too long, often, I'll leave it out, but I do try and leave in a little bit of grinding because, well, it's all about, that's what it's all about really. It's all about the journey and how you get, how you get there, really. I, I don't want to do a 20 minute video where I'm simply just grinding. I think, I don't think that would be too interesting. I mean, you guys probably played this before, so you get the idea. So I do a little bit of grinding, but not too much. Okay. Alright. Oh, excuse me. I do have a little bit of a sore throat still. Right, okay, so we're going to use Louisa and we're going to whip across here. Because the sage lives on top of the mountain. And look at that view, beautiful. I know I've said it before, but it's just awe-inspiring. And we'll get up here. And at least we can actually um, defeat some more enemies as well. So we use the whip. And we'll get across here, and boom. Ah, oh, there's another flower up here. Why wouldn't there be? But we can just whip across here. We've done more than enough grinding anyway, so we're powerful enough. So I think we might just be able to just, just get through this. There you go. See, that's the top. The very top of the mountain. And this is what I thought was a dungeon. It's actually not, by the looks of it. Jack, go away, the sage is out. All, oh, where is Jock? Sage Jock left for the Gold Isle, it's northeast of here. So, yeah, essentially, he's left for uh, the Gold Isle, well, Gold Island. But he hasn't, I think it's all a ruse. I don't want to give too much away because I think I know what's going on, but if you've never played this before, I'm not going to. I'm not going to tell you basically what's happened, but. I'll pull it this way, the assistant is just messing us around. He's sending us to all these different places. <laughs> he does not want us to see Jacques. I know why, but I'm not going to give the game away because it was just spoil the story. You know. But anyway, let's use Flamey now. And I want to apologise in advance because I just don't know where everything is on this game. I'm going to get very lost using Flamey. You know, there's... Uh... Oh, that's where I've already been. So, yeah... I, I got a bit lost looking for the lofty mountains myself. I was looking for mountains and all I saw was like black. Really, just. And that was apparently the game's representation of what mountains are. So, it does get very confusing for me. Now, some areas I do know, some areas I don't. I've just got a terrible sense of direction in this game. Now, I'm quite lucky because the game. The game's map is not too big, so it's kind of condensed, so you can kind of tell where you're going, and areas repeat themselves, so you don't have to worry, but sometimes it's like, you know, I do know like when I see a bunch of mushrooms on the ground, sort of flashing, that's Matango, and you've got the ice country, and this is Gold Island, and I, I always have problems finding it, and I don't know why that is. Here we go. It's too expensive to live here. It's like a really, really prosperous town, basically. This island sinking under the weight of the gold. 
many have left here and gone north to the ice country. Yeah, so lovely. But what's great is um, I think there's a shop here as well, so I feel really kind of like, oh, I, I brought all that armor and stuff for them. I spent ages grinding, and I'm thinking, you know, I could have really got through the cave without the items I needed, I think. I would have been able to get through, earn more money, and probably afforded the stuff here, because I think the stuff here is a little bit more powerful. So, yeah, this is the weapon shop, anyway, or the item shop. Or is it? Oh, it's Watts. Hee <laughs> hee, no one was using this place, so... Uh, let's see. I think we can forge some weapons. We might as well while we're here. There we go. I don't think there's anything else I can really forge at the moment. Oh dear. <coughs> I do apologise if I keep clearing my throat. But look at this man. People in this town, they're so freaking stuck up and they're like, you know, you've got to be rich to live here. Look at this, I'm jealous, everyone's moved to the resort up north. What a nice place to live, I tell you. The people here just aren't too friendly. Some of them are, some of them aren't. So I guess it's kind of like a lottery. Where did King Manmon find gold? Okay, I think this is, no, that's just a building with no door. We'll pop up here. Yes, this is it, this is what we want. There's that dancing shopkeeper. What will it be? Well, we want to buy. So, this is going to take some working out. Um, I don't know if Louisa can wear the battle suit. There's a flower suit. So, that, that, that's what I was talking about earlier. Basically, she won't wear certain things. And it's hard to know what she can wear and what she can't. And even the same with the sprite as well. He, he can only wear certain things as well sometimes it's very confusing we'll buy the Lazarus ring i was going to say Lazarus then papa Lazarus, which is a league of gentlemen reference <laughs> um basically if you've not seen the league of gentlemen uh just type in papa Lazarus, league of gentlemen and <laughs> you'll you'll see what i mean hello dave that's all i'll say basically so yeah it's very confusing i don't know what she can have and what she can't so, see, he can't. I don't think he can have the duck one. No, I can't have the duck, but the sprite can. The sprite can have the duck. The duck helmet. It's so confusing as to what you can have and what you can't. So, I'm going to try and get the most up-to-date armor I can. But I think I may have to do a little bit more grinding. Possibly. So, I just don't think I'm going to have enough for everything. I might just be able to get almost everything, but I may have to just earn a little bit more money, which is fine. I can go off and grind. It's no problem. I'll just be more powerful in the end. Seize the Ivy Amulet. That's a ring. So we can sell off what we don't need anyway, so that's one thing. The only problem is we don't get, like because it's I guess the game classes it as second hand so you don't always get the full amount back you always get like less than you would which is to be expected so we'll sell the tiger cap we'll sell one of those um, we'll sell off these which I've literally just brought and I'm really annoyed about because uh, I guess that's the name of the game I should have realized I could have come here and like it would have saved me doing all that grinding, but well, it wasn't a total waste because I'm like a little bit stronger. Alright, um, let's see. So I'm just thinking now. Yeah, I'll buy the Dragon Helm. Now, the problem is, I think the Duck Helm is more expensive is more expensive than Dragon Helm. So, although the Sprite can wear the Dragon Helm, he won't be as strong. So it's really bizarre how this game works. 
And this is the thing when buying and selling, you've got to be so careful because it's so easy to actually sell the wrong item when you don't mean to. Yeah, so we'll give them, we'll give, give them the uh, the duck, the duck helmets or whatever they are, the duck helm. I'll have the dragon helm. Okay, I like to do this step by step. What will it be? Uh, well, we'll sell off. We'll sell off the armor now. So it's pretty good. I mean, I've got like, I'm almost like, almost there with it. So it's just a case of just, I think, buying a few more items, selling some off, and doing a little bit more grinding. And uh, I will be all powerful once again, basically. Oh, okay. Sorry, Bob. But I've got to sell off your armor. I think. Yeah, if I, if I equip myself with that. See, there's two lots of armor. Although I could get by with that armor, I'm, I'm very greedy. I want the best armor that I can get at the time. So I think I think I'll just sell off the armor. What the hell? It'll be fine. It'll be all right. Um, we'll sell off Bob's as well. Sorry, Bob. Sorry, but I've got to get everybody up to speed. I don't know if Louisa can wear the battle suit. I'm not sure, but I'll give her the flower suit. It's difficult because it's a it's a commitment, to be honest. Whenever you buy multiple items, you never know if your party can actually wear them. It's kind of annoying, really. There we go. So, literally, Bob, I just need some, some more money so I can buy Bob a battle suit. So, with that being said, we might as well go do some grinding. So, let's get flamey. I'm going to say flamey. I keep saying flammy. I'm not sure how you say it. I'm sure it's flamey anyway. As I said, I'm going to get really, really lost uh, whenever I use Flamey. It's just so freaking, again, so confusing where I'm supposed to go. Everywhere just looks similar or the same. The map is absolutely beautiful, though. A great use of Mode 7 graphics. And this is like the coolest thing ever. Okay. So you don't have to rely on the cannon travel centers, which is a real shame. To be honest, as cool as Flamey is, I really enjoyed the cannon travel centers because it's almost like it's a struggle to get to where you need to get to. And having to rely on them, I just got used to. Flame is cool, but I guess it just makes it too easy. So we might as well spend some time here grinding. I think that would be the best thing to do. So we just need like 30 grand or more. So, apologies guys, but it has to be done. We have to grind. There's just no getting away from it. We just need money. We also need money for some walnuts as well. And maybe some cups of wishes, I'm not sure. But I'm quite lucky because... Um, I think because I'm so powerful, it's like I haven't used any cups of wishes, so... You know, my defense is up and everything's up. My attacks are up, so I'm basically, you know, I'm doing really well. So it's good to have them, though, because the battles are going to get a little bit tougher. All right, that just leads me back into town. At least I've, I've found Mandala anyway, so it's not too bad. Okay. Oh, I fell unconscious. I just hate those bloody flowers. They're so frustratingly annoying. They just put you to sleep. Okay, boom. Get rid of that thing. Goodbye. Pop down here. Oh, and I've fallen unconscious again. It's like narcolepsy or something. I've probably said that before. <laughs> That's what it feels like. He nods off and wakes up in strange places. It kind of reminds me of Fight Club when he goes to the doctors. He's like, what about narcolepsy? I nod off and wake up in strange places. Love that film, Fight Club. Absolutely brilliant. All right, so more flowers to defeat. But it shouldn't take me long anyway. Um, 
to earn 30 grand. I mean, it's better than 90 anyway, which is almost as much as I had to grind for in the beginning just to get the armor that I needed. <laughs> 